put all of you who will be 80 years or older by 2050, please raise your hand. One out of every two of you who raised your hands will have Alzheimer's disease. To a disease that is going to be like a plague, it's going to be worse than AIDS, much worse. If we don't find a way to prevent Alzheimer's disease, we are going to see demented people wandering the streets. In this special report, we examine the nature of that disease known as senility. I was one of the media people who became part of the propaganda machine to sell Alzheimer's to the public. It was not called Alzheimer's disease, it was called senility. So tasks in making it exciting was giving it a name, giving it a face. I call it Alzheimer's disease. All of a sudden, there's this new disease that no one had heard of before. We're saying that everything is Alzheimer's disease and we're misdiagnosing the other stuff. Which disease are you most afraid of? The number one response was Alzheimer's disease. Maybe I'm so passionate about this because I have the major gene for Alzheimer's in old age. We cannot, with any certainty, predict who among us is likely to get Alzheimer's. It depends on all sorts of things. What older people think is that it's all determined by genes, it's all determined by biology, and there's nothing they can do about it. You can indeed turn a clock back when it comes to brain aging. There's somewhere between 700 and 1,000 new cells being born every day. 75 is the new 65 for, uh, for brains. Genes are not your destiny. Your destiny is determined by the kind of life that you live. 